Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about what is the use case of a shotgun in the 21st century. Someone dropped me a comment on one of my videos, essentially asking me the same thing. What do you see the role of a shotgun as? What are the pros, cons? Kind of wax poetic about shotguns. So I figured I would oblige uh, that viewer uh, and give him kind of my thoughts on shotguns today. So this is the only shotgun I own. It's a Beretta 1301. I will link the videos in the description for you guys to kind of see what I've done with it. And I think the benefit of a shotgun is really in the versatility of it. So I cannot think of another platform, another weapon system that I can engage essentially any organism on the continent with. I can shoot the smallest birds with the appropriate bird shot. And I can shoot the largest land mammals with the appropriate slug, whether it's this true ball slug, kind of a copper sabo, whatever it is, you know, a 12 gauge shotgun can engage that game appropriately and everything in between. So if you only have the opportunity or if you only have you know, the means to have one firearm, I think this is a really good choice. I really started to appreciate uh, the benefit of it when I was looking at you know, other long guns for larger game. So I was looking at 4570 lever guns, all kinds of stuff. And the question that kind of nagged at me was, what does that 4570 give me that my Beretta 1301 and a slug doesn't? I couldn't really provide a good answer to that. So I don't have a lever gun and I still have this. The other thing a shotgun gives you today is frankly just more training opportunities, more competition opportunities. Usually you can't shoot three gun without a shotgun. Some places local to me, I've seen they have shotgun only matches that are action shotgun, not trap or skeet. So it's just another tool in your toolbox to get out there and compete uh, with a firearm. I think you have the opportunity as well with a shotgun to have a, a completely viable uh, tool in states that are very restrictive. So if you're only, if you're only able to have so many rounds in the firearm in your home, depending on what state you live in, you probably should just have the best round you can have. That probably is some form of 12 gauge. We're beyond pistol calibers, we're beyond rifle calibers. I only get six, eight, 10, whatever the magic number in your state is. Well, eight in this is gonna be eight in a handgun uh, any day of the week. They're generally innocuous. I don't subscribe to a lot of the Kind of legal output that you know if you have a good shoot with an AR-15 and a bad shoot with a shotgun you're going to survive because you shot with a shotgun like no nope, I, I don't buy into that um, I will engage when I have to regardless of the tool that I have uh, but these tend to go over well in the core public opinion if that's something that matters to you nowadays you, know, you can see I have this shotgun with basically every enabler that I would ever want on it I have a great M-lock handguard I have sling points, I have an aim point red dot. I have all the tools that I would need on this shotgun to bring it up to the 21st century as far as the user interface. So I don't think you're necessarily held back if you have to use one of these. I think you have the benefit of having a tool that can play the entire course uh, in one system. They tend to be very reliable uh, if maintained properly, like all things, uh, and they tend to be affordable as well. This is probably not a good example of affordability, but it still uh, kind of falls within the price range of comparable ARs. So that's my thought on shotguns. They're a win because they're versatile. Uh, they're a win because they can do all kinds of different stuff and they fit into a bunch of niches uh, that you might find yourself into. If you have any questions, let me know, guys. Uh, and these are my thoughts on shotguns. Thanks.